completely disgusted if I'm perfectly honest with you folks. You know, last night there is anger, there is sadness. I mean, and the thing is, none of it compares. None of it compares to the families uh, and friends of those who have lost people in another terrorist attack. You know. Um, let's bring you up to speed if you don't know. Last night in Manchester, uh, there was a blast at uh, Manchester Arena. And our, I can't say name probably. Ariana Grande concert was taking place. Um, now, as anybody who knows who any Ariana Grande is, the majority of her fans, sort of people my age, teenagers, young children, um, young sort of kids, um, you know, children, teenagers. That's that's her main kind of fan base. And uh, last night at a concert, right at the end, as people were starting to leave the building, a suicide bomber uh, decided to detonate his bomb and kill himself and kill 22 others, injuring 59, traumatizing 1,000. They are after our children now. These people have no limit. They do not care if you put pray for Manchester. If you say keep calm and carry on, they are after our children. 22 people's mums, Dads, brothers, sisters will never be able to say hello to their child again. They will never be able to hug their child. They will never be able to make them tea, put them to bed. They won't be able to do any of that because of this. They went to a concert to have a good time and they never ever returned. But it's okay folks, because the independents telling us just carry on. Let's do what Britain does best and carry on. As if 22 people didn't die. Well, news check. 22 people did die. 59 people did get injured. Thousands are traumatised. There are little kids at home who have lost their mums, who have lost their, their brothers and their sisters that will never, ever be able to live life the way they did before. So no, we can't keep carrying on and carrying on and carrying on and waiting till next time. Waiting until it happens all over again where we repeat the whole entire process and nothing friggin' changes. They are killing our children now. This act is despicable. It is disgusting. It is frankly evil. There is somebody out there who knows exactly who did that attack. Why are they not contacting the police? For those wondering, this has all the hallmarks of an Islamic extremist terrorist attack. Imagine my shock. What were the mainstream media doing last night? Trying to cover the whole thing up. Oh, it's just balloons exploding. Balloons exploding do not make that much noise. Balloons exposing, exploding do not cause 22 goddamn deaths. But it's alright, because the London Mayor said, you know, we should expect it in a big city. So sorry to those families that have just lost, lost loved ones, but sorry, you should expect it. Keep calm and carry on. No, I'm not going to keep calm, and I'm not going to carry on. I can't live with myself if I allow 22 people to die and don't talk, don't try and change things. And people want to change things, folks. There are people that are sick to death. There are people, and I don't know why it's took this long, that last night finally saw the truth, finally saw it. But some people still don't wake up, do they? There's people complaining about Islamophobia on Twitter. It is not Islamophobia. It is not rational to fear an ideology who goes and kills 22 mostly children at a concert. It's not irrational. Of course, like I have to always emphasise on these videos, and I shouldn't, but I always do, it's not all Muslims. But worrying statistics like 66% wouldn't inform the police, this is of British Muslims, if their friend, family member joined ISIS, worries the friggin' hell out of me. 40% want Sharia law, that kills pretty much all of us. And last night on Twitter, just as the attack happened, what happened? What did I see on my timeline? I saw Muslims playing the victim. I don't blame all Muslims. But how dare they play the victim? 
Muslims are not the victim in this attack. The victims are the 22 that are dead, the 59 that are injured, the thousands that are traumatized, the mums, the dads, the brothers, the sisters, the uncles, the aunts, the nans and the grandads who will never see their loved one again. They are the victim. I guarantee you one thing from this. Give it a couple days, the whole Manchester thing will be off the, off the news. By tomorrow it will, it will be down to second or third story. The next day, fourth or fifth, the next day, completely gone. And then people will just carry on with their lives. Carry on with their lives like nothing happened. Pretending nothing happened because it's easier. It's easier that way. And we'll wait and we'll say we're all united, we'll, we'll light a candle and we'll wait. And we'll wait and we'll wait until another attack, until more people die, until more people are injured, until more people are traumatised. We will wait and then guess what will happen after that? We'll repeat this whole goddamn process again. I am sick and tired of asking people to wake up. If you are not, haven't woke up up until this point, I have no idea what earth sort of heart you have. If you cannot watch that, what happened last night, the devastation, and are still, your main concern, your main thought is, oh, I need to go on Twitter and start having a go at these alt-right figures, these right-wingers who actually want to stop this friggin' from happening. That's my first thing, I've got to get on there and call them all Islamophobic, because that's going to help. Because being friends to the terrorists is going to help. We have to make changes. We have to do stuff. We have to stop this uncontrolled immigration. We have to stop these fundings to Saudi mosques. We have to stop letting ISIS fighters back into the country who have to deport suspected terrorists. Muslims who want to reform the religion need to stop being shut down by other Muslims. The, the, the religion needs to be reformed. I can't stand when people say words that you, you'll never be able to stop this. We're not even trying. Last night my prayers and my thoughts went out to those affected and it would be wrong after an attack like this, after they die, to just go on like nothing's happened. I'm not prepared to do that. We need to make change. We need to make things better. We need to stop this atrocities from happening time and time and time again. You can light a candle. You can change your Facebook profile picture. You can write hashtag pray for Manchester. But one thing you cannot do is bring back those 22 kids, those 22 people who died last night. They are after the children. For God's sake, wake up. God bless those affected in any way with the attack last night. If you're still in, if you are still, haven't found your family, get in contact with them, they'll be worried sick. And if you're a family member looking for your child, I can't even imagine the pain that must be going through your mind. But it's gonna stop, we've gotta stop this. It's despicable, it is disgusting, it is saddening. These people are evil, these people are not human. I can't.